Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general have been surging in popularity in recent years. Here we'll check out the best Bitcoin ETFs and cryptocurrency ETFs. Why Bitcoin ETFs and cryptocurrency ETFs? There are many different cryptocurrencies that have emerged, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Tether, etc. Instead of buying each of these directly and trying to keep track of their relative popularity and value, you can invest broadly across them with cryptocurrency ETFs, which also conveniently allow you to avoid the hefty fees of exchanges and wallets like Coinbase. These ETFs provide more secure, reliable diversification across different cryptocurrencies and the different companies involved in the underlying blockchain technology. No wallets, no keys, no storage, no exchanges, etc. Plus the tax-advantaged growth if you buy a Bitcoin ETF in a tax-advantaged account where you can't directly buy Bitcoin. For those wanting to solely focus on Bitcoin, by far the most popular cryptocurrency, Canada's financial regulator, the Ontario Securities Commission, or OSC, recently approved the world's first three Bitcoin ETFs. The SEC has been more stringent so far in not approving a US-based Bitcoin spot price ETF. They have rejected the proposals they've received thus far. The SEC cites worries of volatility, illiquidity, and the potential for manipulation. Cryptocurrency sits upon the underlying blockchain technology, a peer-to-peer -peer network of participants establishing a decentralized ledger. Cryptocurrency is just digital money that takes the form of coins on that ledger. Decentralization is a central driving theme of cryptocurrencies, meaning the digital currency does not rely on physical banks and government control, for better or for worse. Note, however, that blockchain technology is not cryptocurrency, and cryptocurrency is not blockchain. Similarly, cryptocurrency ETFs are not blockchain ETFs, and vice versa. I think crypto is mostly just a speculative asset, but it may indeed offer offer a diversification benefit in terms of being uncorrelated to other assets. Uncorrelated means assets don't move the same way at the same time. This has been true so far of Bitcoin. Looking at three-year rolling returns for the decade ending 2020, BTC has had an average correlation of about zero to US stocks, foreign stocks, US bonds, gold, silver, copper, palladium, and broad commodities. In fact, I couldn't find any asset to which BTC has had any semblance of positive correlation on average. If you know one, let me know. I guess this may make sense, as crypto buyers may just be speculating on its price movement in isolation and not actually investing in it because of the behavior of other assets. These correlations may also shift in the future. Keep in mind though that BTC is so extremely volatile that if you're buying it for the diversification purpose and not just buying because you think it'll go to the moon, you only need a dash of it for its intended effect. It's risk parity weighting in a portfolio alongside stocks and intermediate treasury bonds is only 3%. I personally wouldn't hold more than about that amount. Let's look at some Bitcoin ETFs and broader cryptocurrency ETFs. The various options for a Bitcoin ETF differ wildly in structure, availability, fees, and how they achieve exposure to the digital currency. As such, these are listed in no particular order. First on the list is BITO, the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. BITO from ProShares launched in October 2021 and quickly amassed over a billion dollars in assets under management. I've added it first on this list because it's the first true US Bitcoin ETF. And with a fee of 0.95%, it's cheaper than the other options for US investors. Pent up demand for a Bitcoin fund by US investors now has a place to go. And indeed it did, with record volume on its launch day. Note that BITO does not directly buy Bitcoin. It buys Bitcoin futures. As such, we'd expect its price to differ from the spot price of BTC. The fund also reserves the right to purchase stakes in foreign ETFs and investment vehicles that hold Bitcoin directly. BITO's approval may start the snowball to later result in a true spot-based US Bitcoin ETF. Next on the list is GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Investment Trust. GBTC was one of the first vehicles to offer Bitcoin exposure to investors, but note that this fund is an OTC ETN, not an ETF. ETNs mean potential counterparty risk. If the fund goes under, you lose your money. According to Grayscale themselves, GBTC, which represents fractional Bitcoin ownership, enables investors to gain exposure to the price movement of Bitcoin through a traditional 
investment vehicle without the challenges of buying, storing, and safekeeping Bitcoins. GBTC is not physically backed. It allows accredited investors to buy into the fund through periodic private placements with a 2% fee. GBTC doesn't reliably track the price of Bitcoin itself, for better or for worse. Grayscale actually announced on August 4th, 2021, that it is getting the gears turning to convert GBTC to an ETF, though the SEC hasn't allowed the structure yet, so it will be interesting to see how that plays out. Next on the list is BITW, the Bitwise 10 Private Index Fund. Launched in 2017, the Bitwise 10 Private Index Fund is the first cryptocurrency index fund. It holds the 10 largest cryptocurrencies. According to Bitwise, the fund's assets are held in 100% cold storage with a regulated insured custodian and are audited annually. The underlying index, the Bitwise 10 Large Cap Crypto Index, has a public formal methodology that includes eligibility rules meant to screen out critical risks around custody, liquidity, regulatory, and other concerns. Invest Investors are able to buy and sell shares of the Bitwise 10 Crypto Index Fund through traditional brokerage accounts by typing the ticker symbol BITW into their brokerage window. Accredited investors may access the fund as a private placement directly through Bitwise. The fund has a fee of 2.5%. Next on the list is BTCE, the BTC ETC Physical Bitcoin ETC. BTCE is a true open-ended physically backed Bitcoin ETF. Yes, ETF in Germany, thanks to different regulatory requirements than the U.S. Unfortunately, if you're watching this, it's likely that you can't buy it. BTCE has a fee of 2% and over a billion dollars in assets. Next on the list is CXBTF, the Bitcoin Tracker 1. CXBTF trades on the OTC markets. You might have a hard time finding it. It launched on the Nasdaq Stockholm in 2015. The fund was initially offered only in Swedish Krona, and then three years later in August 2018, became available in US dollars. Note that like GBTC, CXBTF is an ETN. Next on the list is BTCC, the Purpose Bitcoin ETN. BTCC launched in Canada in early March 2021. The fund picked up nearly $500 million in assets in its first week, which is pretty staggering, especially since it's a Canadian ETF. BTCC has a fee of 1%. Next on the list is EBIT, or EBIT, the Evolve Bitcoin ETF. EBIT launched on the Toronto Stock Exchange one day after BTCC, naturally giving it a slight disadvantage. To combat this, it lowered its fee in its first week from 1% to 0.75% to directly compete with BTCC. Still, EBIT's AUM sits at about one-tenth of that of BTCC. These ETFs are likely more desirable to US investors than the ETNs and overseas ETFs. Still though, these Canadian ETFs are probably not readily available to you, depending on who your broker is. GBTC may still be the best option for US investors, but an ETF format should be preferable so that its price stays close to its NAV. Next on the list is BTCX, the CI Galaxy Bitcoin ETF. BTCX was the third Bitcoin ETF to launch in Canada on the Toronto Stock Exchange, offering exposure to Bitcoin held in cold storage just like its two predecessors. BTCX knows it's at a disadvantage being late to the game though, so it has made its fee a category low 0.40%. Short-term traders may still prefer the greater liquidity of BTCC and EBIT, but a long-term holder can save significantly on fees by using BTCX. BTCX BTCX.U trades in US dollars. All three of these ETFs track the Bloomberg Galaxy Bitcoin Index, the BTC, which measures the performance of a single Bitcoin traded in US dollars. Now let's talk about the outlook for a US listed spot price based Bitcoin ETF. Analysts speculate that a US listed Bitcoin spot price ETF may be approved by the end of 2022. There have been quite a few applications. Filings have been attempted by several different fund providers. U.S. cryptocurrency fans are hopeful because of President Joe Biden's nomination of Gary Gensler as SEC chairman, as Gensler once taught a class at MIT called Blockchain and Money. Coinbase, the largest American cryptocurrency exchange platform, went public on April 14, 2021. That may ironically be the best proxy for U.S. investors who don't want to buy physical bitcoins. However, the stock does not appear to be correlated very much at all with actual BTC which we should probably expect because Coinbase is a company. How do you approach Bitcoin and crypto in your portfolio? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.
Some of the links below are referral links at no additional cost to you. If you choose to make a purchase or sign up for a service after clicking through those links, I may receive a small commission. This allows me to continue producing high quality content on this channel and pays for the occasional cup of coffee. I have firsthand experience with every product or service I recommend and I recommend them because I genuinely believe they are useful.